Tell Toyota to start my car. Okay, here's Toyota. What is your pin? Thanks. I'm reaching out to your Highlander Hybrid XLEAWD to turn it on. Nice. Hey, welcome everyone. In this video, what I just showed you earlier on how I started my car using Google Assistant, I will tell you how to do that with your Toyota if it's compatible. So the amount of commands that are available are pretty limited. So stuff like starting your Toyota, turning it off, uh, locking the doors, unlocking the doors, uh, checking how much gas mileage you have left, pretty basic commands are kind of what's available. So nothing too fancy like telling it to turn on the air conditioning and stuff, you know, maybe get it cooled down in the summer before you go on a long drive, unfortunately, but basic commands is what you can do. So you can actually technically do this from anywhere in the world because I've also tested it with Google Assistant on my phone. It works just fine, even on mobile data. So it's kind of similar functionality as a Toyota remote app, which I do demo in another video. I'll put a link to that in the video description if you wanna check it out. So now we're gonna go over the issue of compatibility. And this is not easy to find, especially here in Canada. In the US, I found the information was more easily available. So there's a lot of variables when it comes to if this may or may not work for you. And from what I can gather, you know, researching on forums and across the internet, it depends on a few things. The first is your geography, where you live. This feature will not be available in every country where Toyota is sold. The second seems to be the year of your car make. So from what I can see, the most common year that is required is 2018 at the minimum. The next is the model. The model certainly depends here. And the next is the trim. So for example, I have the Highlander XLE model. The basic model is the L. The next one up is the LE, then the XLE. So if you're not sure if your Toyota is compatible in terms of model, year, trim, one thing I can confirm is a prerequisite that's required, at least here in Canada and the US, is that you do need the compatibility to sync up to the remote Toyota app for your smartphone, which also has a remote connect service. It's a subscription fee that you pay to control your Toyota from your cell phone app. More information about the remote connect app and service, a link to that video is in the video description. So basically going over my phone, there's a link here that I have. I'm gonna put this link in the video description so for your easy access, it's basically, you can kind of think of it as a Toyota skill for Google to understand how to communicate with. So Toyota built this type of robotic voice, if you will, that integrates with Google Assistant, and then it will ask to merge with your Toyota account. So you do need a Toyota account to make this work, which seems to be a mandatory requirement that much we can at least guarantee. Once that's done, you're finished. There's nothing else more to it. You can then just tell Google, ask Toyota to start my car. Google, ask Toyota to unlock the doors. Ask Toyota to tell me my gas mileage, it's so on and so forth, you get the idea. So that's pretty much it. So as you can see, the process is incredibly easy. It's just trying to find the requirements if you meet them isn't. And I'm trying my best to help everyone watching this video, but Toyota made it difficult. So if you found this video useful, be sure to check out my social links in the description. Hit the like button, it does help. Subscribe and thanks for watching.